What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be giving you a Canva and a Tangent Templates tutorial on how to get the right dimensions for your book covers. Now if you're new here my name's Paddy and every other day I like to bring out videos teaching you how to make money with nothing more than your internet connection and your laptop. So go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. Also, if you're serious about low and no content book publishing, then check out that link down in the description below to go to the LCB Vault. Within here, I add brand new trainings every single week on everything I'm doing to increase my royalties. You can also get there by going to the lcbvault.com. So this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to get the right dimensions for your books using tangent templates. Now when it comes to tangent templates it's a must have tool for low and no content book publishers and it's only a one off payment of $59. You can also get a discount or a coupon code for $10 off if you look around. Now, the main reason I use Tangent Templates because it makes things so much easier. If you don't have Tangent Templates, but you still want to get the right dimensions for your books, then I suggest watching Rob Cubbon's video, this one, creating a PDF book cover on Canva for Amazon KDP with spine text. Now, I'm recommending this video because I don't currently have a video on how to do this without tangent templates because tangent, tangent templates just makes it so much easier. But this is a great video to um, learn how to do it without tangent templates. I will link it down in the description or right there in the right hand corner. Now, when you're on tangent templates, you want to come to KDP Helper. So this tab just here, then depending on the size of the book will depend on the right dimensions that you choose. So we're going to leave this on 8.5 times 11. We're going to do 100 pages. We're going to do white and then we're going to do no bleed. So from here, we're going to click continue. And then it pulls up a template that we're going to need to put into Canva. So we're going to download that. That's going to download automatically just here, as you can see. And then if we scroll down, we got the dimensions that we need here for Canva. They also offer for Keynote, PowerPoint, and all the other platforms or softwares. So let's take this. So we're going to need the width of 17.48. And then we're going to go over to Canva, custom dimensions. You can do this with a free account. You do not need a paid one. We're going to change that to inches, put in those dimensions just there, 17.48. And then we're going to take 11.25. And then we're going to go back over and put that there. And then create new design. So now we have the right dimensions to start creating your book cover. Now, why am I showing you how to do this? Well, the next video I have coming out is all about how to create beautiful designs for your book covers just using Canva. And because that video is a pretty long video, it's a real in-depth tutorial on how to make visually appealing designs, there wasn't no room to actually put this in, so that's why I'm making this as a separate video. So once you've watched this, I suggest watching the next video in the playlist because this is actually part of a playlist as well on how to use Canva. Go through and watch that video so you can learn how to make really nice looking designs. So anyway, now we have this, um, the right dimensions for the back and the front cover, we're going to want that template that we just downloaded. So we're going to take that, drag and drop into your uploads just here. So once that's uploaded, you can see I've already got one for a different um, 
book cover as well. We're just going to click on that image and it's going to auto populate there. Now what we want to do is just drag this to fit the page. So like that and then drag that drop, drag that drop, drag that top corner right there until it fits. So this is the template we're going to use. So you can see just how simple that is when you use tangent templates. If you're serious about low and no content book publishing, then this is a must have tool just because there's so many features. Now, even though we did the 8.5 times 11, we can even get the custom dimensions for the interior if we're going to create a custom interior. So we just click on that and then you'd get this as well, another template, and then you'd get the dimensions right here. Again, Tangent Templates is a must-have tool. It's only a one-off payment. It's not a monthly subscription. So I highly suggest getting Tangent Templates. There will be a link for it down in the description below if you want to go through and check it out. It is not an affiliate link. It's just a normal link to the website because I absolutely love that tool. Now, if you're going to use the templates that KDP provide, there's one step that you, ha that you actually have to do. So let's just go to KDP cover templates or template. And then we're going to go to this first link just here. So we're going to click on that. And then from here, we can get those templates. So this was an 8.5 times 11. It was, I think, a 100 page count. We're doing the white paper. So now we're going to download that cover template. Now from here, what you actually have to do, let that download for a second. It's taking a little bit longer. There we go. We're just going to open that up like so. If it's going to let me. So let's just move that to there, like that. Then go to here. We're going to need this PNG just here. So let's get my folders open. Let's take that, drag that into there, like so. Let's close that. Now, we need this PNG to be a JPEG because the file size is too big. So you can't actually upload this directly to Canva. So all you need is a PNG to JPEG convert. Then most of the time I use this one, but sometimes it does not work because the file size is too big. So you can also use this bottom one, this browse, browserling.com so if we click on this one and then we go to choose files and use that template that we just downloaded and then go to convert to jpeg it should automatically convert it and download so right there we've got it just there now if we go back over we can actually upload that into here like so, we're just going to drag and drop. And there we go. Now, if you don't do that step of converting the PNG to a JPEG, you're not going to be able to upload it. So if we take this one, that's the original one from KDP. If we drag and drop, it's going to say file size is too big, as you can see. So that's why we do that step of converting it to a JPEG. Now, let me delete that one and just do that. And now we can do that and just fit it to size. And there we go. So that's how you get the right dimensions for your books using tangent templates and Canva. I thought I'd just show you this because many people use the KDP uh, cover templates, but they miss that step and wonder why it doesn't work. That's why it doesn't work, because you have to convert it to JPEG. Now, keep an eye out for the video coming up next in the next couple of days, because I'm going to go in depth on how to make visually appealing and beautiful covers 
just using Canva. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.